are the most vast and vital bodies of fresh water on Earth. The North American Great Lakes, Ontario, Erie, Michigan, Pura, Superior. Their shorelines are mystical meeting place of rocks and trees and water. Beyond the peaceful lakeside lies an alien world of chilling depths and sudden violent storms. A world where even the mightiest of vessels can be devoured by the fury of the waves. Chippewa down up the big lake they call Kitchikoki. The lake in his head never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship Andrew was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Greenland And later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound And the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too T'was the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing when afternoon came, it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind Supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway came in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes to hours The searchers all say they have made Whitefish Bay If they put 54 miles behind her They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke deep and took water and all that remains the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Of her ice water mansion. Oh, 
Michigan steams like a young man dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in one Lake Erie can send to. And the iron boats go as the mariners all know with the gales of November. Remember. Musty old hall in Detroit paper in a maritime sailor's cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down up the big lake they call Gitchigoofy. Here, here, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early.